misery, again, misery is my fucking Gatorade. Come home last night, pop on the, the, the Olympics. Mm. Winter mm. Olympics is on, Jabes. Yeah. And then I get to be joined by you and your misery. You walked in and you said, huh, all you have to do is kind of just throw yourself down a hill and then you're an Olympic athlete. Now, look, I first said, when are the guys coming? <laughs> when are the guys events? Because this is 100% true, by the way. I can't with the, with the girl times and things anymore. <laughs> I can a little bit, but then after a while, you're like, okay, I want to see, I want to see some shit. The right? Gukaku chick was pretty impressive. She was impressive. And what they said was because she was so smooth and like, are you spelling it right, Bob? I E? Yeah. Blue as in the cheese. I'm, no, to you know, I it's, Blue as in the color. We're, we're searching. Yeah, they're searching. Okay. Relax. Like scared. I know. I'm like seeing it flicker over there. I'm like, I'm scared. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, there was a lot of crashes on the mountain last night. A lot of crashes on the mountain. So what they said when this, you know, hot American that's now um, skate, uh, ski boarding for um, China. She was on, she was she on, was on skis. skis. Skis, sure. And then she was doing big air, right? Yep. And it, it did look, it was like so smooth and beautiful. And they were like, oh, it makes it look just like anyone could get up there and do that. And I was like, I actually know like the two people before that made it look like anyone could do it, which is you just go down the hill really fast, throw yourself into the air and fall on the ground, right? Which yeah. if you're not scared, like if I had, you know, if I had some courage. Yeah maybe liquid or otherwise, mm -hmm. I could do that. I, I could go down the hill really fast and just like twist around and throw myself in, you know, and, and just, just do fall. it as many times and then fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wanted, I, I actually want to see that. <laughs> Can you imagine? Because all you're doing. Just like break everything. You break everything, but sure. here's, here's the thing. It's, a, it's downhill and then, a, and then there's a jump and then you do tricks in the air and that's it, right? Yeah. You're not, you don't have to go down rail slides no. or anything else. No. You can just go straight down. Yes. Like a speeding bullet and then boom, you're going to get launched on your own. You don't need any help with that either. Exactly right. So and you then you like, twist around and do all the things. You literally just need uh, to throw yourself one time to, twi to twist. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah, that's when I was like, oh, anyone could do this. Yeah. And I've never seen you laugh harder than when there was a bigger girl last night. Which I've never seen. Sorry. Who fell down the mountain in and a crash? And that's when I really related, right? Because she was like bigger, <laughs> not fat, but bigger, right? <laughs> like you'd be like, oh, she's not fat, but like she's definitely not skinny. And um, it was interesting to see. Like I don't think I've ever seen a, a definitely a woman skier mm -hmm. in the Olympics that was bigger. Yeah, yeah. I've just never seen it. I agree. I agree. Especially with big air. If you're trying to go down really fast, yeah, yes, yeah. If you're trying to get up in the air, probably harder, right? But then the goo chick won, mm -hmm. and uh, they kept calling her Goo, G U, right? Yeah, that was her last name. And then somebody, another announcer, slipped in, slipped in Eileen. And I was like, huh? Eileen Goo from China mm -hmm. doesn't really make any sense to me. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't believe that I've heard a Chinese name of Eileen. That was a little weird to me. Uh, and then we looked her up. Look up Eileen Gu, by the way. Uh, Giu. She won last night. She won the gold medal. So she's a little she's champion. A, she's a good-looking lady. She's a model as well. She's as an model. athlete. And, uh, yeah, right there. That's a weird photo, but sure. Um, so, anyways... With this chick, right? Mm -hmm. What I said was, oh, this is a super white girl. This is a, this is a, this is a white girl. And she talks like she's from the Valley yeah. when she did the interview afterwards. You can take the picture. Yes. Of that, um, ski, ski boarding for China. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what's the fucking story? And everybody else had the same questions as I did. Because um, she's a young girl. And you're like, wait, what? How is this possible? Mm -hmm. China's buying off athletes from around the world which is awesome now this is starting to feel yes like professional shit which wasn't allowed now it's allowed i guess 
And uh, so she decided to, because her mom is Asian and her dad is American. She was born in San her Francisco. Mom, her mom is Chinese specifically. Yes, yeah. Chinese specifically. Yeah. And uh, typically you're not allowed to just join another country like that, but you are now. And that was, that's a fun thing. Yeah, we do it all the time, especially in soccer. Uh, it's easier to make the American team than it is Germany. So a lot of German-born athletes will come over to America and play for us. Yeah, so my question was during all of this, like, what is the criteria? Like, yes. can you, do you need a, a do you need citizenship? Do you need a? Sometimes it's as simple as heritage. Because the, right. the, the so thing like is, she has a Chinese mom, so it's like she can be like, oh, well, I can get a, a citizenship in both or something like this. Yeah. Yeah. Because the wild thing is, like, again, she's a model. And you know you can market the shit out of that, let alone she's a phenom in, in this downhill skiing shit. Yeah, I think all they really cared about was that she would win for them. Maybe. <laughs> and so once I dug deeper into it, mm -hmm. I guess leading up to the games – um, she was like the poster child for the Olympics for China and everything else. And like they had her splash all over these magazine covers. There's a separate Twitter over there called Weibo that we don't have here. And she's got like, I don't know, a couple million followers over there What's on Weibo. What's the difference between Weibo and ours? Yeah, this was awesome last night when you said this, what's the difference between Weibo well, and ours? Asking. They're both censored by the government. So like, what's the difference? And you're, all I said was, you're right. Twitter's the same as Weibo. We're turning in, slowly turning into China. Our government is. So who gives a fuck anyways? I don't care. What I said was good for this girl. She's going to make a fuck ton of money getting paid off by China yeah. um, and living there. But then it turns out she doesn't even live there. So she lives here and is going to Stanford this fall. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the same thing Naomi Osaka does. She's American and Japanese. Okay. She decided to play with the Japanese flag next to her name in tennis. Okay. No Just, shit. Despite the fact that she grew up. So I think her dad was military or something. So she was like born in Japan. Mom's Japanese. But uh, she grew up in Florida. Like you hear her talk like she sounds like a fucking American. I don't, I don't yeah, even yeah. know how a much board, Japanese she She sounds like a bored American. Yeah. And, uh, but she decided to play as Japanese. I'm sure there was some personal stuff in it, but there was, it was a huge financial consideration as well. Because there's only like five famous Japanese athletes. Yes. Dude, it's so you're like a superstar go immediately. Go to the small yeah. pond. And that's go to the for small everyone. Pond. Yeah. 100%. So even with this chick, I was like, yeah. So uh, appar apparently after she won last night, um, I don't know what the ratings are. I, they should be out probably by Thursday, I would say. It's just you. It's just me watching? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, look, the opening ceremonies was... And me being forced to watch. ...was the lowest of all time. But even that was like 12 million where you're like, dude, 12 million people watch that bullshit? Um, so I don't... I'm curious. I think the ratings will be out right around Thursday for these. Um, but with that, I guess the most searched thing on the internet was, is this chick Chinese? Right. Um, and uh, the, an the answer is... No, not really. Uh, I mean, her mom is. Yes. Uh, but Half. Yeah, yeah, she grew up in America. Is going doing living the American dream, and the American dream is to get paid. Yes. Top dollar. So. And what the other thing I said was, I'm down for all of this. Yeah. Like I'm down for people. The Olympics being like, do what you got to do to win, like how it used to be. And you people know? were pissed off about it, uh, about her not, you know, skiing for America. And I was just like, eh, is America paying her? America, I mean... China's paying her. And, you, and that sport as a female, too, nobody gives a shit. Get that fucking money, girlfriend. You know? God. Get the money. Get the money, girlfriend. Get it, dude. We're just not the team to be playing for right now. You uh, know what I mean? Like, we're not the side to be on right now. Mike, we're not going to be looked at in high regard. No. Mike Tapia threw in $69.69. Oh, my Lord. What up, Nooners? Ross, can you give an update when BRCC IPO goes public? Thanks. Uh, air, land, sea, no, reg no, no regrets. No regrets. No regrets, dude. Yes. Yeah, so uh, it, they're ringing the bell Thursday morning, uh, typically with an IPO. Um, it's a couple hours before it's open up to Gen Pop to buy. So they, they usually give a couple hours, um, kind of go over price consideration, uh, whatever hedge funds and all that other bullshit have put their clients in first so they can get that bump. Yeah, the system's all fucking rigged. I mean, so, you know, technically, for most of these IPOs, the preferred clients get in early and then the stock goes up like 30, 40%. And, uh, and then people sell, take the 30, 40% and go home the rich get richer, and then it opens up for the rest of us dummies, right? 
Um, the only time I got in early on something was Facebook. Mm. And, uh, and that, that uh, didn't do well. Did not do well for me back then. Had I had held on to it longer, maybe. But uh, uh, that one did not move opening day. So look, keep an eye out for it that day. But you'll be able to get into that. That's not like a, it won't be like a tech stock where it's just like, great, we have to wait six hours. The market's going to crash and all this weird shit's going to happen. So you'll be fine on that one. Just, I would say just give it a couple hours on Thursday. Uh, but you'll be good to go. But uh, I'm all for homegirl getting paid. People were pissed off about it last night a little bit. Like, oh, why isn't she doing this for America? I was like, America's not paying for that bullshit. Um, so, yeah. Go to uh, China's paying top dollar for because athletes. like in America, you have to be there has to be something mental health related. Yep. Or you're the first. Yeah. To do something. In other countries, they're just like, fuck that. Exactly. They're like that Osaka chick, take her Japan. I don't. I don't give a fuck. Um, the other thing about the Osaka chick too is uh, she hasn't won since that meltdown. Right. And I hope she never does. I mean, calm down. Eh, just leave. Yeah, if, if the world's too big, go back inside. Just go back. If the world's too big for you today, just go back inside. That's all. No, I just, just wonder. And it, it's never more prominent than during the Olympics. Like, I just wonder how the world is viewing us right now. Well, glad like, you- I wonder how it comes off. If we're thinking these certain ways of like, God, that's a lot. Glad like, you- I wonder how other people are thinking about it. Glad you brought that up, Japes. Okay. Because our big, bright, beautiful, shining star, Nathan Chen, who is the best in the world at figure skating, and that, that's a huge title to win. It's a huge gold medal to win. Got up there last night and fucking destroyed. Highest score of all time in the history of fucking men's figure skating. And uh, okay, it was pretty – like, look, I'm not into dudes figure skating that much, and I wanted to see what the hype was on this guy. Even I was just like, holy shit. Sure. Fucking gangster out there. Right. Um, now, he could have right. gone for another country. Look up Nathan Chen. I don't know where, where he's from, but he's definitely Asian, you know? Yeah. He could have gone to Salt another Lake country. Salt Lake City, Utah. Salt Lake City. No shit. No shit. From there. From Salt Lake City. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I don't know anybody besides Mormons who are from Salt Lake City, you know? Good for him. Mormons and Asians, I yeah, think. He yeah, he fucking destroyed last night. Yeah. So he's got one more left. I think it's the long program. It might be tonight or Thursday. Uh, but that would be a big deal. Yeah. For America right there. Sean White wins. That'd be a big deal for America right there. It would. Yeah, it would. So let's get fucking wet, dude. But you. Oh, Squishy. Remember Squishy? Yeah. Too? What's her name? Who? The ski boarder, Squishy. Squishy. I love the Winter Olympics. Uh, you do. You guys can, I don't know if you can tell, but huge I. Huge fan. Huge. Squishy, Michaela Squishy or whatever her name is. Yep. No, no name? idea. I, uh, oh, Michaela Schifrin. The, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Obviously, that's who I was talking about. God. We watched the Super G last night, the men's Super G. Yeah. The, the G. downhill where they're going like 73 miles an hour. Yeah. That shit was, was wild simply because most of the dudes were fat and they were in their late 30s early 40s and i was unaware that you had to be young and athletic to do that apparently you need to be old and fat and to do that sport well yeah but who won uh the older fatter dude oh really yeah 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 it was a guy from italy there was like 90 90 skiers left and they were already declaring like the medal winners and it was like what the fuck what is going on here i don't know we're not we're not dominating no we're not this and is then, our worst performance ever in a Winter Olympics. And then every time, like, Squishy went down, like, as soon as she jumped off the thing. Why do you call her Squishy, by the way? Because I can't say what. Michaela Schifrin? Yeah, I don't remember Oh, okay, it. gotcha, gotcha. So it just sounds like Squishy to me. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's not Squishy. I mean, she's in shape. Yeah, she keeps she's it in tight. shape. Yeah. But, uh, you know, as soon as she gets off the, you know, mount up, whatever. Sure. Falls right down. Yeah. 